I am Rayolite, and I come this morning to broadcast throughout the earth that ray of light that each son and daughter of God requires this morning to rise higher into the immaculate nature of their divine presence, into that sacred space of holy light wherein they feel their godhood, they feel connected, they feel the delivery from within them of the highest aspects of their own immaculate nature. Yes, blessed ones, when you are fearless, when you are resolved to be courageous in all things, there God appears within you to take hold of you and at times to shake you about and to awaken and quicken you into a higher reality of beingness in God. Are you available to the Divine One every day? Are you responsive to the inner impulses of light that flow from your presence through the crystal cord into your mind and heart, allowing you to partake of that which is pure, crystalline, and divine? If so, then you may enlist yourselves with my legions of fearlessness flame, these courageous angels of the sacred fire who go forth north, south, east, and west at the command of the Almighty to awaken mankind unto that which is pure, real, and divine. Blessed ones, it is a time to be fearless. Do you agree? Yes. What will it require of many more to awaken to this state of divine beingness, where no matter what is occurring in the world at large, they are invested primarily in their own reality as the only power that connect, their own divine presence as that which is pure and true and real within them. For you see, to be fearless, you must rise into God good. You must understand your nature you must realize the truth of your own being. And this is why the fearlessness flame is that white ray tinged with green, for the truth is always a part of fearlessness. When you understand the truth, the way, and the life of the Christ within you, I can assure you that God, him, herself, will respond to every requirement of the hour, all the needs that you have in any moment to manifest that divinity within your life. Many let go of God. Well, dearest ones, they should instead let go and allow God to displace the human ego and that which is unreal. When you do this, I can assure you that I am there with my legions encouraging you with that divine courage to be fearless in all things, to be rather than not to be who you are as a God self-realized one. The legions of fearlessness flame often stand on the peaks of the greatest mountains of this world, awaiting the call of the righteous upon earth to act on behalf of the Lord God, yet many, unknowing of the nature of these great legions of light, do not make the call. They think that there is hopelessness in various hours of their lives. Well, I can assure you, dearest ones, that hope is also a part of the dynamic of fearlessness, because where there is no hope, there is no response from heaven. When people let go of the opportunity to believe through faith that God can truly intercede in their lives, when there is hope, then fearlessness is just behind. And so hope often leads before my legions to deliver that pinpoint 
arrow of great God light that then dispels the darkness so that there can be fearlessness in all things. Therefore, I understand the dynamics where some, even in this hour, do not respond to the inner impulses of God within them, based on all that is transpiring in the world. Yet, dearest ones, it takes resolve of the few to then encourage the many to believe and have that faith, have that hope, and have that charity that will yield for them great results in their lives. Do you desire great results in your lives, dearest hearts? Yes. yes. Well, the greatest result is God consciousness and solar awareness manifesting as a tangible reality in your life when you can feel the dynamic of what this will mean for you to rise into that fearless state of God love, God power, and God wisdom in balance within your life. Then you will feel your own Christ awareness. Then you will feel that divine reality resonating within your heart, blazing forth its glory and dispelling all darkness, all evil, all that is not true to the divine will, wisdom, and love. Yes, blessed hearts, the heart that is true, the mind that is sure, the soul that is rich in grace, and the will that is ensconced in God's holy will. Bring the initiate to that point of decision, often at the why, whether to move forward with ineluctable desire to be one with God or to allow the not-self to take hold fully of their life. Many of you have reached that why and you have determined to be victorious by ascending in consciousness to commune with heaven and to allow all that is divine, full of grace and rich in spirit to guide, direct, and impel your life forward in the divine embrace. Because you have done this, we have come. Many angels have served you, and you have often been saved from all manner of evils and dialectics of darkness. Yet now is the time, dearest ones, to be even more resolved, more courageous, more fearless, to drive home with the full impeccable light of your presence through your conscious will to reach that apex of beingness where you can launch forth in the ascension energy spiral of victory. I see each of you as these courageous ones standing on the hillsides of the world, reaching up into your God presence and being fully resolved to do what is necessary to make your ascension. If you truly desire oneness with God, then you will ascend, yet it will take the passing of many initiations and the resolution of many things to reach that point, that apex of being, blessed hearts. It will take that courage that moves you into the realm of light, where the ascended masters abide, where the saints east and west have moved through their own courage to be one with their God presence and to reunite with all that is real. I say that you would not be here unless you were already somewhat courageous, yet for some of you it will take greater focus greater concentration, greater God resolve to reach that state where you know that you know that you know that God lives within you in the fullness and in the brightness of that higher reality. So, precious hearts, study fearlessness as a flame, as a virtue, as a God reality. 
See how you can embrace courage and its innate ability to provide you the impetus to love with greater love, to be more joyous in your daily affairs, and to be healthy, wealthy, and wise as the God men and God women are who have risen to that state of God consciousness and true holy love. At the core of fearlessness, I say love is the highest reality. For courage, as you know in the French, originates from the heart. So, blessed hearts, be heart-centered. Be hearty men and women, meaty in that which is rich in love, rich in spirit, rich in the truth of your inner being. When you are heart men and women, yea, heart friends of God, I am there impelling you forward on your path of light to reach that state of beingness in God where you feel the inner purity of your mind, heart, will, soul, and vision. Oh, for vision the people seek that truth, that light, that wisdom that will allow them to maintain that higher aspect of awareness that is required. And when they sustain that vision, they shall not perish. Yet what will it take to sustain that vision, dearest ones? Again, courage. So be fearless in all things. Intuit that which God speaks unto you every moment of how you can rise higher on this path of light, ascending a little bit more each day to perceive of your God nature as the only reality that can act in your life. When you are resolved to be godly, all the angels of heaven will encourage you and coax you higher, inspire you and model for you that divine life that you seek to live within. All must have that high ideal, as the masters have said, in order to reach that state of perfection of the heart, mind, and will in balance to be the Christ, to be the Buddha, to be the Divine Mother in their lives. So choose to be Christ-like, heart-centered, pure, noble, and real. And then, dearest ones, the fearlessness flame will glow around you. Your soul will be ensconced within it. There will be nothing so unimaginably evil that can arise within your awareness or take hold of your life that would beset you in such a way that you would go to the nether worlds rather than to that sacred space prepared for you with a banquet feast of light that God has indeed set as that reality that you may live within if you choose. Choose the higher walk with God, with Enoch and those who have gone before you to prepare your way, Melchizedek, Jesus, and many more. Allow the Holy Spirit its space within your life through stillness, through beingness, through meditation upon the God reality of your true self. For when the Holy Spirit vibrates within your heart, within your mind, within your will, then you are fearless in all things, knowing that no matter what comes your way, even those slings and arrows of outrageous fortune, you, centered in God, move forward into that light 
In fact, you divide the way by your Christ consciousness. Do you know this, dearest hearts? You actually divide darkness by the Christ awareness that you manifest through the light that you bear in your bosom and in your soul. So be that tip of the arrow and the spear moving forward, always forward, always higher in that light of God glory. Do not compromise any longer in those little things that take you down and down and down again through a lack of God's self-awareness, self-respect, and knowingness of who you are as a son, a daughter of God. Realize that you were created in God's image and likeness and what this means for you each day. If you can feel this reality as the truth of your being, then there is no compromising with the devil, deified evil, again. You will stay resolved to be true to who you are. You will feel those impulses arising as required to give you your victory over every last vestige of your karma and to dispense with darkness at every point on your path. Yes, I say, say it with me. I dispense of darkness today. I dispense of darkness today. I dispense of darkness today. Let's say it again with the word with. I dispense with darkness today. I dispense with darkness today. I dispense with darkness today. This fiat brings a fearlessness flame and light into your reality. For having dispensed of darkness, there is only light before you, around you, within you. There is only God glory available to you now to be victorious in all things. Yes. Be a dispenser of evil. Be a dispenser of all that is non-godly. And because you have dispensed with it, then what? now is suspended within your life. God, God, God. And we will not keep you in further suspense, dearest ones, about what can manifest in your life. You will know what you know to be true, that the only reality that can act is God. Say it with me. The only reality that can act is God. The only reality that can act is God. The only reality that can act is God. In my life and in every life, in those whom I love, and even those who heretofore, yesterday, I had considered enemies. No longer. They are God friends because God lives within them too. And God is real within them. I call it forth. I accept it. I am it. Amen. So precious hearts, this ray is yours to claim and be each day. And when you know yourself as a ray of God, whatever that ray looks like, colorful or not, broad and quickened and awakened and clear or something else, you knowing that you are a ray of God can always rely on me to assist you in being that ray of joy, of love, of God power and faith. Thank you for being here this morning, for participating in this alchemy of bringing forth this heart stream, which many require. And so my angels will broadcast this message on the inner to every man, woman, and child evolving upon earth so that they know the truth, the way, and the life, and that they too can be fearless 
moving forward in God to the great I am that I am that lives within them for their victory always. Thank you, my beloved friends.